Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ekaterina Shalagina. I'm the first year student of international relations at Petrozavodsk State University. Today, I want to tell you about Russian Bali, facts and details. Here you can see the contents of my presentation. The goal of this presentation is to show the importance of Russian Bali to the world. Russian Bali is known all over the world. Even if you have never seen a Bali, you most likely heard about Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake or the Bolshevik Fiat in Moscow. Russian Bali has a long history and it's one of the most recognizable styles others imitate around the world. Bali originally came to Russia in the 18th century when Peter the Great instituted his westernization program, replacing traditional Russian folk dances with Bali from France. Through centralized planning and organization by Catherine the Great, the country built ballet schools and theaters in Moscow and St. Petersburg. The first Russian ballet group appeared in the 18th century. This group was based in St. Petersburg and performed the first in pair ballet. At this time, the concept of ballet started slowly changing to switching from mythological and dramatic plots to more romantic storylines. There are 10 famous ballets that are known all around the world and 5 out of 10 ballets came from Russia. Swan Lake, The Nutcracker and The Sleeping Beauty are ballets that were composed by Tchaikovsky. The Nutcracker Ballet is 127 years old. During its years, this ballet has won the hearts of audience across the world and has become the main ballet for the holiday season. The other two ballets are Romeo and Juliet and Cinderella that were composed by Sergei Prokofiev. Now let's talk about famous Russian ballet dancers. For example, Vaclav Nizhinsky. He's a Russian dancer and choreographer of Polish descent. Anna Pavlova. She is Russian prima ballerina, best known for the creation of the role The Dying Swan, who became the first ballerina to tour Bali internationally. Galina Ulyanova. She is a claimed Russian dancer transferred by Stalin to the Bolshoi Theater to be prima ballerina for 16 years. Ulyanova's performances with the Bolshoi during its first ever performances in the West at the Royal Opera House in the 1956 changed ballet in Britain forever. Rudolf Nureyev is a Soviet-born dancer whose expressive skills provided a new role for the male dancer who previously served primarily as support to the women. Nureyev's defection to the West in 1961 represented the second coming of the Russian dancers and set new standards. Russian ballet has a long history that the country is proud of. A lot of Russian artists are famous all around the world. The technique is admired by other ballet dancers. Moreover, Russian ballet schools are known to be the best ones on the planet. To conclude, Russian ballet is really important to the world. It brought about huge changes in how the dance forms were perceived infusing with the drama, intensity and danger that have never seen before in the theatres of Europe. Today, the Marinsky and Bolshoi theatres remain at the forefront of classical and contemporary ballet.